I'm going to show you how to massage your back with, uh, with balls like these. So using either uh, something that has a rubbery type of texture that doesn't slide. So ideally, you don't want it to slide against the wall. A tennis ball can work, but it slides a lot. So I'd rather, uh, I suggest you use something that's more rubbery. So this is a lacrosse ball, extremely hard. Uh, it does not slide at all, so it's great for that. Uh, it's easy to put a lot of pressure with it. Just make sure you don't uh, irritate the size of like the bone itself. You don't want to irritate the, the periosteum. So uh, just be careful not to put too much pressure with this ball. Uh, this is a, a more of a, so a softer ball, but you don't want it to be too soft. It has to still be somewhat hard, uh, but you're gonna be able to, to massage the side of the bone without injuring the bone with these kinds of balls too. So you just wanna make sure, uh, we'll review where you massage with the balls afterwards, uh, but for, the, for now, you just wanna make sure you're not massaging uh, too hard uh, against the bone. So, First, the first thing is to put the ball in your, your back. So just make sure that when you're you're going up and down that you're not going to hurt your knees. So you don't want the knees to go past your, your toes and you don't want them to come inside. You want them to follow your feet. So if you want to put less pressure, you open your legs wider, you keep them close to the wall and you go up and down. You can also uh, let your glutes go against the wall so that you don't uh, put as much pressure. Uh, but if you want to put more pressure though, you're going to put your feet together and you're going to get them to go away from the wall and you're gonna be able to push even even push with your legs to put some more pressure against the muscle you can go close to the bone but with the old cross ball you want to be very careful not to, to rub against bone you can lose you can use these, this ball to put a bit more pressure and even rub closer to the bone and you can go onto the side here and go dig into the muscles on the side just want to be careful not to uh, to press on the too much on the end of, our, of the lower ribs uh, but it, higher up, there's no problem. You can go onto those uh, the ribs and massage them. Just make sure it's not hurting too much. The point is to just release the muscles and make sure they're not stuck together too much. Uh, when you change side, be very careful not to rub against the the, uh, the spine. So you, you take your pressure off and you s switch to the other side, and then you put your pressure back on to the uh, to be uh, onto the ball and just apply pressure onto the muscles. Uh, so that's for uh, the lower back, middle, middle of the back. When you're going a bit higher, you can put the ball exactly where you want instead of not to, like to, not to fight with the ball. You just put it against your shoulder and you roll on to it till you get to where you, the spot you want to get to go to. So then you can move, you can actually move your shoulder out of the way by bringing your arm forward and just go up and down and massage there. So same principle, be careful not to put too much pressure, but if you want to put more pressure, you, you put your feet further from the wall, farther from the wall and you just apply more pressure. Um, next thing is the shoulder. So on the shoulder, you can massage the back of the shoulder blade, no problem. You can go a bit on the side, but be careful not to pinch the nerves. Uh, and you can work on your deltoid muscle going up and down. You can even go towards the front of the deltoid muscle. And if you want to work on the back of the deltoid muscle, and you can lift your arm up here and go from side to side along the humerus going to the shoulder blade and releasing some of the really sore tension spots there. So that'll do a lot of good for, for the shoulder. Uh, for the glutes and the TFL, very important for the TFL because it's pretty much the only effective way of getting that muscle to release. Uh, you want to put the ball uh, just above the ball here and go up and down until you get to the crest. So you put your, your exterior foot further from the wall, you put most of your weight on that foot, and you use the other foot to just keep your balance, you put it closer to the wall, you just lean into it. With the lacrosse ball, you don't have to lean very much. It's going to dig and it's going to it's going to massage quite well. So you go up and down, and you can go towards more towards the back, or you can go more towards the front to release that muscle. Uh, same thing for the glutes. You just lean into it, uh, massaging the glutes, and make sure that you're not massaging against the bone too much. So I'll show you on the skeleton here. So when you're massaging the TFL, you're going from uh, the, the greater trochanter here to the crest here. So you're making sure you're not putting too much pressure on the trochanter, you're going from that bone, so you're going above it and you're massaging the muscles here. When you're massaging the glutes, it's the same principle, you're just massaging up and down. You can go side to side, just make sure you're not jumping over uh, spots are too sensitive, you, want to put, you can apply some pressure and even stretch sometimes too. Uh, make sure you don't hit the bone too much here, and when you're on the, the, the spine, Make sure you're massaging the side of the spine, not on the spine. And if you're massaging the side of the spine, you're using the softer ball. But in the muscles, you can put a bit more pressure and use a harder ball. And when you go to the sides here, make sure you're not 
pressing on the end of the ribs and you're not injuring the ribs like that. So as long as it's somewhat comfortable and it's, it's causing a, 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 a pain that's more of a release. Uh, same thing here, you're making sure that you're being careful with the spine. Uh, and when you get to the shoulder blade, don't rub too much against the shoulder blade, be careful with that too. And you can move it out of the way and massage behind it. When you're massaging on the shoulder blade, you massage it up. Like you can go sideways like that, make sure you're not crushing uh, any nerves or any muscles here against the bone or the bone itself. Uh, and you can lift the arm up and go side to side like that. So massage on the deltoid going from the humerus to um, the scapula. So just be careful here and just release those tensions. Awesome. There you go.